Hey children, a very good morning to every one of you who's watching this TV. It's a pleasure meeting you once again. So, earlier we had done alphabets A and B and we also saw the various objects that began with A and B. Today, I'm going to teach you C. How do we write C? It's just half a circle. And what does C say? C says K. Repeat it after me. C says K. That's right. Now what are the things that begin with C? Let's see that. There's an animal that begins with C and you've seen it in your garden at times and it makes that sound what animal is that? Yes, you've got it. It's a cat. C says K. Now, there is another animal that begins with C. And it does What animal would that be? It has horns. Yes, you guessed it. It's a cow. For cow, we say C, K, cow. This is a cow. K, C says K, K, cow. There's another animal that begins with C and it's, you cannot see it in Jamshedpur. It's found in the desert and it is called a camel. You said it in one of your poems if you remember. It has a hump on its back and that's a camel. There's a rabbit that likes to eat this vegetable. Can you tell me what vegetable it is? And it is orange in color. It is called as a carrot. What for carrot? K. K. C says carrot. K. Carrot. Okay. In the morning, before you go to school, mommy gives you milk in this. K. K. call this seeker cap yes so we've learned seeker cat seeker cow a camel seeker camel seeker carrot seeker cup and seeker cap let's see what are the other things that begin with C. You see the time in this. Can you tell me what it is? It is hung on the wall and you see the time in it. It is called as a clock. See the clock. What, what do you see? You look at the time and mommy tells you the clock is ticking away. Hurry up. You have to dress up for school. So see the clock. And the clock is round. You see the time in it. When you go to school, mommy combs your hair with it. Can you tell me what it is? Hmm. You got it. Yes. See the comb. That's it. And what does mommy do with this comb? Mommy combs your hair. And when you go to school, you have a small chair to sit on. See, 
chair. Okay? Now, your daddy drives this. When he takes you out for a nice drive. What does it begin with? Mm, it's not a cycle. It's not a motorcycle. What is it? It's a car. Seeker car. Yes. And you like to go in your car, isn't it? For a nice drive. Now let's see the different vegetables that have the cur sound. In winter, this vegetable is like a flower and it has nice green leaves around it. You like to eat it. It's like a flower. What do you call it? Cauliflower. Yes. So this is your cauliflower. And many of you like to eat cauliflower. There's another vegetable that begins with C, K. It is green and it is round and it is leafy. Got it? It's a cabbage. C, K, cabbage. Yes. So we've seen these two vegetables which you love to eat in winter. One is cauliflower and the other is cabbage. There's one more vegetable that you like to eat and especially in summer and that is a cucumber. Yes. See, ka, cucumber and it's very cooling. Ka, cooling. So you like to have it in summer. Then you like to bring the water of this particular fruit and it grows on a tall tree like this. Can you tell me what fruit grows on this tall tree? It is a coconut. Yes. And when you crack this coconut, what comes out of it? There is water. And you put a straw inside and you sip that water. I forgot to tell you about one more vegetable. And your mummy puts it in chow mein. You like chow mein, isn't it? And in fried rice. You know what that is? That's a capsicum. Yes. And this capsicum is green in color. You can eat it raw also. Okay? Then, there's a little creature that crawls on the ground. And if it is a caterpillar, seek a caterpillar. You know what comes out of a caterpillar? This is a caterpillar. And when this caterpillar grows fat and it becomes a little lump and then a beautiful butterfly comes out of it. So see a caterpillar. And there is a black bird. I forgot to tell you that. It is called as a crow. And I told you the story of the thirsty crow. You remember? See a crow. So children, We've learned all the things that begin with C. We've learned how to write C as half a circle. And now I'm going to take you to your granny's house in an engine. All of you put your hands up like this. That's it. And now we will say fish and chips. We like to eat chips, isn't it? So let's say fish and chips, fish and chips, fish and chips. Meat and potatoes, meat and potatoes, meat and potatoes. Soup!